Hello and welcome. This is the scene here in East London, in Stratford to be exact. We're at the London Stadium. My name is Derek Ray and my commentary partner on this occasion is Stuart Robson. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's West Ham United and they take on Arsenal. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game and who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And a look at the West Ham 11. The experienced Lukasz Fabianski stands between the posts. Declan Rice starts alongside Tomasz Socek in the centre of midfield. And the striker of choice today is Danny Ings. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Thomas Partey in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack is Gabriel Jesus. Number one, Lucas Fabianski. Number five, Vladimir Kufa. Number four, Kurt Zuma. Thank you, London Stadium. Enjoy the game. We're ready for what we hope will be a tremendous match, and it's West Ham United with a kickoff. Well, this could pose problems for the defenders. Just couldn't capitalise there. Gabriel Jesus. He has been one of the leading lights in the competition so far, Gabriel Jesus. Well, his recent form speaks for itself. Three goals in the last three games, and he's playing with great confidence at the moment. Every chance he could add to that tally today. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. Well, Arsenal started this game really strongly. They've passed it well, they've created a couple of chances, and they were so close to taking the lead there. Moving it forward. Danny Ings. A cross there that was decidedly ordinary. Arsenal being afforded too much room. Oh, that's a fine cross. He does have pressure to deal with. Just couldn't get it through. Jared Bowen. Oh, that's a really good authoritative tackle. Throw in here. Promising sequence. They could nudge in front. And a goal! Now they've broken through. 1 0 here. Well, it's a very simple finish in the end, but his movement was really good. He just found himself a bit of space in the box when it mattered most. On they go again, and Arsenal know they need to wipe out that last goal. And denied by the crossbar. Yeah, he does really well to get to the ball first, but he just couldn't keep it down. But it was close. Saka. Thomas Partey. Well, it's been quite clear that West Ham have been second best in terms of possession, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. More defending for them to do here, though. 
Bukayo Saka. Now they stopped them in their tracks. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Defenders need to cover. Rice. On to Paqueta. Textbook closing down. A goal! That's two for him today. They simply can't stop him. No wonder he's celebrating. Let's see this again. He tries to run out with the ball. He has the ball taken off of him. He's made the wrong decision. And suddenly the ball's in the back of the net. Terrible defending. So back underway with the scoreline standing at 2-0. If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Well, it's official now. The first 45 minutes have come and gone here at the London Stadium. And I think it's fair to say he's had happier days in front of goal, Stuart. Well, as you can see, he just hasn't had enough touches in the key areas. And that's one of the reasons they're losing this game at the moment. Into the second half then, and Arsenal with a real mountain to climb. Really good attacking play. Superb block on the back of the ball from the flank. And now the delivery. Well, they're going to be very cross with themselves because that was a wasted opportunity. And they will make the change now. Ings on the offensive. Now, disappointing end to the move. Thomas Partey. Danny Ings into the advanced position and it's gone behind for the corner well they are committed to making the substitution here and over it comes well you can't really head them any better than that but the goalkeeper was up to the task another corner just a matter of thumping it away Paqueta, and he's in, and a goal, they're running riot here, almost out of sight. Well, as you can see, they finished this really easily. They don't give the keeper a chance, do they? That's a good goal. underway again with the Hammers very much in control of the game Antonio did well to win the ball back into the final 20 minutes really good interception I'm not testing the keeper at all with that effort White Bukayo Saka Trying to really get at the opposition here, but timely defending when it mattered. Oh. 
Well, nearing the end of the game, and Arsenal, a big disappointment, really, you've got to say. Well, they just never got going. People will point fingers towards the centre-backs and keeper, and to be fair, they've been poor, no doubt about that. But they haven't had much protection. Just... Well, the keeper is happy, the bar was there. Zinchenko. Now with Jesus. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. Paqueta. The supporters want to see him have a go. Another goal! The lead grows to four now. A rampant display. Well, here it is again, and you have to say the 1-2 completely opens up the defensive structure. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. And we're underway again. So the final whistle now, and disappointment for Arsenal, you've got to say. A defeat for them. Your assessment? You're absolutely right, Derek. While the result is poor, the display was even worse. They never got to grips with the opposition. They were second best in every facet of the game. They need to do a lot of improving before the next time out. His performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, it's a good performance. He worked hard, played well and scored a goal. And his team won. What more could you ask for?